let us look at the Internet of Things and to look at how the Internet of Things can be used to uh, improve the construction industry. The Internet of Things, or in short we call it IoT, is a system of interrelated computing device, mechanical and digital machines, objects, could be animal or people that are provided with unit identifiers, in short we call it IUDs, and the ability to transfer data over a network without requiring human to human or human to computer interaction. That is the definition okay, that is provided by this uh, organization called IoT Agenda. A thing in the IoT can be a person with a heart monitor implant, a farm animal with a biochip transponder, an automobile that has inbuilt sensors to alert the driver when the tire pressure is low, or any natural or man-made object that can be assigned an IP address and is able to transfer data over a network. IoT is a sensor of network of billions of smart devices that connect people, systems and other applications to collect and share data. IoT is a concept of connecting any device with an on and off switch to the internet. This includes everything from cell phone, coffee makers, washing machines, headphones, lamps, wearable devices, and almost anything that uh, we can think of. This also applies to components of a machine, for example, a jack engine of an airplane, or a drill of an oil rig, or it could be uh, the, uh, this, uh, the lifting hook of a crane, for example. The IoT is a giant network of connected things, and the things can include people, the relationship between people to people, people to things, and things to things. The dominant consumer IoT device worldwide is actually the smart TV. Between 20 to 35% of consumers worldwide own a TV that can be connected to the internet. However, other areas of the IoT market are growing rapidly, especially in the construction industry. The Internet of Things is sometimes referred to as the Internet of Everything. It consists of web-enabled devices that collect, send, and act on data they acquire from their surrounding environments using embedded sensors, processors, and communication hardware. These devices, often called connected or smart devices, can sometimes talk to each other or other related devices through a process called machine-to-machine -machine or M2M communication and act on the information that they get from each other. Humans can interact with these gadgets to set them up, give them instructions, or access the data. But the devices will do the bulk of the work on their own without human intervention. Their assistance has been made possible by all the tiny mobile components that are available nowadays, as well as the always online nature of our home and business networks. Here are some of the top strategic IoT technologies and trends. The very first one is Artificial Intelligence or AI. Data is the fuel that powers the IoT and the organization's ability to derive meaning from it will define their long-term success. In a sense that through IoT, we will have access to a lot of data and we are trying to make use of artificial intelligence to make sense of the tremendous amount of data that we are getting. Secondly, social, legal, and ethical IoT. This includes ownership of data and deductions that are made from these data. The algorithmic biasness, 
privacy, compliance with regulations such as the General Data Protection Regulation. A successful deployment of an IoT solution demands that it is not just technically effective but also socially acceptable. Thirdly, sensor innovation. The sensor market will evolve continuously through 2023. New sensors will enable a wider range of situations and events to be detected, and hence more data. Fourthly, silicon chip innovation. By the year 2023, it is expected that new special purpose chips will reduce the power consumption required to run these IoT devices and thus making it more convenient for us to have more IoT devices. Lastly, new wireless network technologies for IoT. IoT networking involves balancing a set of competing requirements. In particular, they should explore 5G technologies, the forthcoming generation of low earth orbit satellites and backscatter networks. IoT offers the following benefits to the organization. Firstly, it allows them to monitor their overall business processes, processes in a more effective manner. Secondly, it can help them to improve the customer experience. Thirdly, it can also save time and money. Fourthly, it can enhance employee productivity. Fifth, it can allow them to integrate and to adapt various business models. Six, it allows the businesses to make better business decisions. And lastly, it can generate more revenue. We can extend the concept or use of IoT to the industrial sector. And when we do that, there is a specific term for it. We call it the IIoT. Okay, so the IIoT focus on the use of cyber physical system to monitor the physical factory processes and make database automated decisions. While the physical systems are made intelligent using IoT, the real-time communication and cooperation both with each other and with humans will be established through the wireless IIoT brings in the concept of a connected factory leading to a smart factory. In a digitally connected factory, the IoT enabled machineries can transmit operational information to partners like original equipment manufacturers, right down to the few engineers. In the area of facility management, the use of IoT sensors in manufacturing equipment enables condition-based maintenance alert. For example, the hydraulic pumps in a leaf could be uh, make use of uh, IoT to transmit the uh, information to the uh, this uh, manufacturer when it is on the verge of uh, breaking down or is uh, suffering from uh, oil leakage. IIoT can also allow for monitoring of the production flow. You can use it in manufacturing to enable the monitoring of production lines starting from the refining process right down to the packaging of the final products. It can also be used for inventory management. For example, IOP applications permit the monitoring of events across a supply chain. It can be used to enhance the safety and security of the workers in a plant. IoT combined with big data analytics can improve the overall workers' safety and security in a plant setting. It can also be used for quality control. IoT sensors can collect, aggregate product data and other third-party syndicated data from various stages of a product cycle. It can also be used for packaging optimization. By using IoT sensors in products and 
or packaging, manufacturers can gain insight into the usage pattern and handling of products from multiple customers. Logistics and supply chain optimization. The IIoT can provide access to real-time supply chain information by tracking materials, equipment, and products as they move through the supply chain. Usage of IoT comes with its own challenges. One of the challenges will be security, and the key issue will be how to ensure robust and lifelong security of the IoT products and its services. How do we prevent the hackers from hacking into the device to make use of the data, to steal the data, or to manipulate the devices? To maximize the effectiveness of IoT, we need to allow okay, the IoT system to connect as many devices as possible. Unfortunately, the different devices sometimes are not able to talk to each other because of different standards. So that's why the ability to have interoperability and standards is very important. Voluntary use of uh, open, interoperable and widely available standards as technical building blocks for IoT devices will derive greater benefits across the supply chain for the whole uh, sector. Because the different devices will be generating data, collecting data, we also need to look into privacy. Strategies will need to be developed to promote transparency, fairness, user choice in data collection and handling. Another area of concern could be the regulation and the legal rights. Because technology is developing very rapidly and uh, the current regulations and law may not be developed fast enough to keep track of the technology. So the rapid rate of change in the IoT technology could outpace the ability of the associated policy, legal and regulatory structures to adapt. And lastly, the need to also look after the emerging countries, or the emerging economies and uh, developmental issues. Because in order for the benefits of IoT to be truly global, the unique needs and challenges of implementation in less developed countries will need to be addressed.